It's already done. Amen. Amen. I'd like to greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Once again, it's for them I'm about to be standing before you today. Amen. 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 And I'd like to greet the Pamalachi. It's been a while since we've seen him, so it's nice to see him. Hey. Yeah, maybe when he's here, we'll step back and enjoy. <laughs> but yeah, no, I am. Yeah, um, um, uh, as I said last week, I am, you know, happy to be in the house of the Lord, but I'm not happy to be standing before the Lord. Yeah, so things have been changed, but nonetheless, uh, I am leaving it all in God's hand. Because um, at the end of the day, you know, it's not about what I can say, but it's what He wants you to hear. So I hope that, you know, the little that I bring before you as a blessing. Amen. Amen. So I think what we can do, um, maybe let's just pray before I begin. We okay, just close our eyes. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before the throne of mercy again. Lord. Yes. We just want to say thank you for this thank opportunity, you, Heavenly Father. Lord, to be gathered, Heavenly Father, in this fashion. Lord, Heavenly Father, you know in our hearts, Heavenly Father, we long to hear from you. Yes, Father. Lord, we want to be better Christians, better people. Yes, Lord. Lord, Heavenly Father, better brothers and sisters. Lord, better colleagues, Heavenly Father. Yes. Wherever we go, Heavenly Father, we become the reflection of you. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we have come, Heavenly Father, to hear from you. Yes, Lord. Lord. I pray that you speak to each and every one, Heavenly Father. Please, Lord. Lord, your children have come and sacrificed their time right, yes. to come to church. Yes. Not to hear a man, Heavenly Father, but to hear, Heavenly Father, those supernatural words that we like. Amen. I pray, Heavenly Father, you speak to them. Yes. Use Lord. me, Heavenly Father, as a vessel and nothing. You know, Heavenly Father, but Lord, I'm just putting it myself into your hands and saying, Speak, Thank Heavenly Father, Lord. as you please. Ask me all this to be done. In the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 So, Last week I forgot the, the verse I was going to read, but this time I did forget. <laughs> so I think we'll just open the book of Mark. Amen. The book of Mark, I believe it's Mark chapter 16. Let me just quickly confirm here. Yes. So Mark 16. And then we'll read from verse 11. <coughs> Okay, so it reads thus. So it says, And they, when they had heard that he was alive, and had been seen of her, believed not, after that he had appeared another, in, in another form unto, unto two of them, as they walked and went into the country. So this scripture, just to give context, is speaking about um, the two men who are going to Emmaus. Amen. So, you know, it speaks about how that God appeared to them in another form. Amen. So, the subject for today is going to be an orphan. Amen. Amen. So, I can just take your seat, saints. Amen. 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 So, just to give a brief background of the subject at hand today and morphine. Amen. So, last week we were basically speaking a bit on the Godhead. The subject was the revelation of Jesus Christ, just showing that when He unveils Himself to us, we find our identity and our position in Him. Amen. So now here, we took the root of and morphe, basically to show that how that, you know, Christ is the principal theme of the Bible. Mm -hmm. It's Him from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. So we just want to show the different masks that He chose, chose to unveil Himself to us. So maybe we'll be doing a bit of reading, just going through different periods of time in the scriptures where we see him appear. So just as a beginner, I'll just read a quotation. Um, the identified Christ of all ages. Um, paragraph 77. The prophet here comes and says, Remember God changes his form and morph it. The Greek word means he puts on a different mask like in a Carmen or something, or Shakespeare's play. Amen. He's like an actor. He changes his form. All what those prophets were, that was God in those prophets. God says so. You call them gods who the word of God came to. 
and here I am, the Son of God. How do you condemn me, O oh my? So now the prophet comes and he's speaking about Shakespeare's play. Yeah. How that, you know, when we look through the plan of redemption, we find out that God had attributes in him, basically, that he wanted to express to us. So now when the fall comes in, it's an opportunity for God to express those attributes. Amen. And we are part of those attributes that Amen. God has yeah. So now we come to a realization that, you know, God had desired to be, you know, a father, a provider, a protector. Yeah. And it's an amazing thing how that, you know, God reflects himself in his creation. Yeah. Mm. Because this day now we've got men like me, maybe you're single, you know, after you've done praying, reading your Bible and all those things, mm. but there is still a void that yeah. has to be filled. Amen. 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 Um, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> or maybe, maybe I'm alone. <laughs> but it just gives us an idea of how God felt. Yeah. The prophet comes and says, God felt, you know, the longing, the desire for fellowship. Amen. Amen. He wanted fellowship. And we see Adam as well. God yeah. felt in his creation. Amen. How that, you know, he had everything, he had the power, the dominion. Yeah. But there was something that was missing. Amen. And there was just nothing else but the type of Christ to show that us too as well, yeah. God was longing for us to have a family. Ah, you yeah. know? So it's God basically reflecting himself in his creation. Amen. But now, when we're looking at this word morphic, it's such a beautiful word because of it just uh, encompasses everything one can say. Because when we're looking at the Godhead, you know, other people believe it's three different gods, you know, but the prophet comes and uses this word and morphic to put it all together like a puzzle. To say it's just God in a different form changing mass. Ah. It's the same being in a different form. Amen. So now this is basically the foundation. But now when you take a look at Moses, yeah, look at Moses is given a promise basically, he's a promised son to, to draw the children out of Israel, yeah. you know, the children of God out of Israel, mm -hmm. and you know, he's, 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 he grows up in the palace and so forth, you know, but there comes a time, a change, where now he has to follow the route that God has set for yeah. him. So you, feel, you see certain situation, you know, when the scripture comes and says, all things work together for ah. the Lord, the Lord. Amen. you see him now, he's down there as a man door. It kills a man that runs away. Mm -hmm. So it feels like no, the plan is failed. Yeah. But God, you know, uh, the prophet comes and says, you know, that God, you know, uh, he plays a part in this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Right? Because remember, it's a play. Yeah. And then he finds himself now in the desert. Mm -hmm. And then now God comes and appears to him mm -hmm. in the form, yeah. you know, of, of, of the burning bush, yes. you know, the pillar of fire, one may say. Amen. So now when we see Moses at that stage, we see that he's got now. A, a personal experience with God where God now unveils himself to him. Now, at that particular phase, we see now the scripture comes says, The angel of the Lord came down. Mm. Now, when the scripture talks about the angel of the Lord, it refers to God himself. Yeah. Mm. That's something I've learned to notice, right? Because of now that angel of the Lord begins to speak to Moses. Yeah. Mm. So as Moses take off your feet. Amen. Right? Because you are standing on the yeah. ground. Yeah. So now the beautiful part about that picture, we see that now. Moses has a personal experience with God. Mm -hmm. So when he gets up from that situation, mm -hmm. he's no longer the same Moses that we see running away no. from Egypt. But now God has revealed himself to him. Amen. Uh, the commission has come, now he has to go now Amen. and go, go, basically do what he was called to do. Yeah. So now we see God in that form, mm -hmm. right? Coming in a pillar of light. Mm -hmm. And also we can also see that you know the scriptures come and say that God now was a pillar of night, light by night and a pillar yeah. of light by day. And the beautiful part as the scripture says that you know Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Even this day we see the same thing take place. Yeah. How that we see now the prophet has that picture mm. of that pillar of light. Yeah. So we get an idea of how that looks for the children Amen. of Israel. Yeah. And we look as well, Sunset Mountain. Amen. We've got that wonderful cloud, mm. right? The Pringle Seven Angel, the constellation of Asia coming together Amen. to make the cloud. And the, the prophet comes, I believe it's 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 yes, the prophet comes and says you know, look at his head. Yeah. Look at his head, look at his eyes and so forth. Mm. That is Christ. Amen. Once again in the form of a pillar time Amen. in this day. Now, when we come, we move up in the book of Genesis, uh no no not Gen yeah, Genesis, where we see a mysterious figure coming in. That's Melchizedek. The scripture comes and it says, you know, it's without father, yeah. no mother, mm -hmm. beginning or end. Amen. So we were just having a conversation with these other people who believe, you know, in Trinity and so forth. Mm -hmm. We're just asking a question. This one, who yeah. is he in the Trinity? Yeah. You know, 
because if now we have to we have to start adding yeah you know to that you know but you know the prophet comes and here just for a background no no we understand that he comes now after abraham as well has gone to battle mm-hmm. now he's coming now to 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 give you know abraham the opportunity to pay tithes maybe yeah. you say that mm-hmm. you know and he's talking with him he's telling him that you know uh, you're going to be a father yeah. you know and it's Sarah my wife you know mm-hmm. she's going to produce a seed and the prophet comes and says you know that if Sarah did not believe this belief she could have produced Christ himself. Yeah. And I think that was a powerful one. Yeah. But we see Isaac also coming to the picture. But now, sticking on this character of Melchizedek, Hebrews chapter 1, the prophet comes and says, Now I'm going to show you who he is here. Mm. Then you'll see who the son is. That was Jesus before he had a human form. Mm. Amen. 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 So from my understanding, you know, as we are going up, we think Jesus begins in the New Testament. Yeah. But as the word begins to unfold, then you begin to see him in various places in the scriptures, you know. So it was a wonderful thing to see. And then now we also look at Joshua as well. Other Joshua now after uh, Jericho. Here comes this captain of the Most High. Yeah, maybe let's just read that one. Yeah, it's in the book of Judges. Let me just open the book of Judges. Judges chapter, no, no, not Judges, I'm sorry, okay. Book of Joshua chapter 5. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, Joshua 5. And then we'll go to verse, verse 13. Okay. Joshua 5, 13. So the scripture comes and says, And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man against him with his sword drawn out in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversary? And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord am I now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, What saith my Lord unto you, sir? So now we have an understanding. Now it's Christ again and Morphin coming down and, 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 and appearing before uh, Joshua again. And you know the scripture comes and says that, you know, God is a man of war and we see that how that throughout the you know the scriptures how that he began to conquer wars for Israel yeah you know, there's a certain situation where you tell them they say no 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 I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to take care of this Amen. but you see the same thing even today in our lives Tesla, mm-hmm. where we come up with certain situations where we can't fight ourselves but God comes and he morphs himself again as well in our lives yeah. and becomes that mighty conqueror for us. Amen. And we are forever grateful for that. Amen. You know, because of our faith is continuously uplifted Amen. when we see him do things for us. Yeah. So the prophet comes and says that God likes to do things for each other. Amen. 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 So now, when we move now, we look at Samson as well. How that, you know, Samson now is also a promised son, you know. The, 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 the mother and the father now are spoken, you know, probably the Bible comes and says the angel of the Lord comes to speak to them, you know. And now the beautiful part about this conversation that hit me is that, you know, uh, when the parents asked the angel of the Lord, you know, what is your name? Yeah. He comes and says, no, uh, don't you know it's a secret? Yeah. <laughs> you know, but in this day we know that all secrets will be unknown. <laughs> And we now understand it as Christ Himself. Yeah. Once again playing his part throughout the scriptures. Amen. And it's such a blessing as well mm-hmm. to know that this day as well, mm-hmm. he also plays that part yeah. in us because of we are him mm-hmm. and he is us. You know. So we also come in as well in morphed as Christ. Amen. Where he uses our bodies mm-hmm. as he pleases. You know, the prophet comes and says, you know, it doesn't have it doesn't have mouth but our mouth. Amen. It doesn't have feet. You know, and then now when we look at Job, Jacob as well, you know, we see Jacob, 
you know, uh, yeah, he's in distress. You know, he ran away from, you know, the, the father in law, but now, yeah, he's coming against now his brother Billy with like an army of 400, mm -hmm. you know. But when we're looking at the situation, he chooses to go into his secret closet. Yeah. You know, I think it's in times of difficulties where we see what we're being yeah. yeah. you know, But he knows that there's no other solution. Mm -hmm. So he's to go into his So what he does is he separates the family yeah. and he goes to the other side of the of the river and he begins to pray. Yeah. And through this situation, scripture comes and says, the angel of the Lord, capital letter L, Lord, comes down. Mm. And he begins to wrestle with his angel. Amen. You know, I just want to quickly read Genesis 32, um, verse 29. It comes and it says, And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore, it is that thou dost ask after my name. And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peor, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. But now just to stick with this one, you know where he says, And he said, Wherefore it is that thou dost ask after my name, and where God now does not tell him his name, but he gives him a new name. The prophet comes and says that a new name signifies a new life. Amen. Yeah. You know? yeah. So now, uh, now here, God now is also there. But he's not disclosing the mystery, mm. not disclosing the secret, so he's choosing not to say it. Yeah. You know? But now, that's where we see Elijah. You know, the one of Elijah touched me, you know, after, you know, a wonderful life. Yeah. You know, I think also as a minister, you know, you come in, you stand, it's high, and then you go home, and then there's a thumb. Yeah. You know, but you see as well, Elijah, after such a wonderful time, when he's there, you know, doing exploits, after he's killed the prophets, now he's running away. From a woman, mm -hmm. <laughs> so from Jezebel, and he's displeased, he's depressed, he's yeah. Yeah. you know, he's under the juniper tree, mm -hmm. you know. And the scripture comes and says that the angel of the Lord came down, yes, amen, to give him, you know, a cake that mm -hmm. I think satisfied and sustained him for 40 days. Oh, yes, and the prophet comes and brings a beautiful picture. Mm -hmm. He says, God chose, you know, the angel with the softest hands, mm -hmm. and we see how that you know, God is so compassionate. Mm -hmm. And look at throughout the scripture, we see his compassion also for us. That in those times of distress, you can come and put a minister before you to come at you. Because he knows how you feel. You know, the scripture comes and says that he's the high priest, you know, of the field of our infirmities. Amen. And he comes and he says that now he can he can understand what we're going through, you know. So we see that as here, the prophet comes and says, you know, I can see that, you know, he chose the best chef to cut the best, you know, cake. He chose, you know, the angel with the softest hands. How that now we see now that angel of the Lord coming down, God in flesh, bringing him a cake, hey, you know, maybe petting him his back, knowing that she's going through a difficult situation. Yeah. When God is showing how compassionate he is, you know, because most of the time we think that God is somewhere up there. Yeah. But now when we begin to look at him more and we see him working throughout the scripture, hey. literally physical, not spiritual, yeah. him being there hey. in another form. Hey. So it really touched me. Now we also look at the three Hebrew boys. Yeah. You know, I think I'm going to be a bit short, so you Give me. But the three Hebrew boys as well, yeah. are that they're in the fire. You know, and then Nebuchadnezzar comes and he catches a revelation. He says, The fourth man looks like the Son of God. And I'm like, you know, what did he catch at the revelation? Yeah. Before the introduction of the Son of God, we are expecting him on the New Testament. Yeah. But this one, mm. who is not, you know, so serious with yeah. the Lord, is catching this mystery. Yeah. And we see him now that in the times of troubles, mm. he's always there. And I think Jesus Christ is our best friend. Yes. You know, the greatest Amen. that we could ever ask for. Amen. You know, because of, in this life, people can only help you so far. Mm. You know, I mean, you can go to prison, but you know, your father's not going to be there with you yeah. to encourage you. You know, but when you also hit that kind of chasm of death when you mm. pass over Jordan, he will be there with Amen. you. So we see through this situation that he's able to go into certain situations mm. that no man can enter. Yeah. You know, I mean, he stayed with them in the midst of fire. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how that you know that fire was not a consuming fire. Yeah. Look very similar to that fire that we read about here yeah. in Genesis, the baby bush. Yeah. But you know, I'm not saying much with yeah. it there, <laughs> You know. But now we see God now coming here to, to, to take, you know, his people out of these situations mm -hmm. where no man can do it. You know. So uh, when we look at Michael as well, mm -hmm. the archangel. You know, the scripture comes in the very scripture Daniel talks about, you know, 
how that you know when Daniel sought you know the Lord mm. how that now uh, uh, the prophet Gabriel comes and appears to him mm. you know and he basically tells him that you know the prince of Persia has withstood me for 21 days yeah. from the very day that you started to consult and to pray mm. your prayer was going to be heard yeah. you know? but the scripture comes and says uh, Gabriel comes and says but when Michael the archangel came mm. there was a change and a shift yeah. mm -hmm. you know? but now when we look at Michael as well mm. the prophet comes and says in the message beginning and ending of the gentle dispensation mm -hmm. paragraph 112 says and at that time Michael shall stand, mm. the great prince. Mm. Prophet comes and says, Michael was Christ. Yeah. Right. Of course. Mm. Who fought that angelic war in heaven? Yeah. With the devil. Satan and Michael fought together mm. or fought against each other. Now we see now God coming out of the form of an angel. Yeah. Mm. Has Michael. That when he steps on the scene, mm. the situation changes. Yeah. So mm. it, it, it's such a beautiful picture to see him change all of his forms. Mm. You know? And as well, if we take a look at and how you might Paul, mm -hmm. you know, how that Paul now, you know, is very serious yeah. in the wrong direction, yeah. persecuting the saints. Mm -hmm. And it comes, you know, that last time you like with the scripture comes and says, I believe it's John chapter 1, it says that, you know, John bear witness of the light, but he was not the light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Christ, the scripture continues, he says, I am the truth, the way, and the light from the same. Yeah. Yeah. He says, I am the light, mm -hmm. you know. So we see now he's also coming in a form of a light. Mm -hmm. You know, and the beautiful part about the scriptures that you know, um, through that encounter that John had, mm -hmm. we see there's a change of life. And I believe most of the time it's in these times of distress when God comes on the scene. Mm -hmm. I've noticed as Christians we shy away from difficult situations, mm -hmm. but I believe those difficult situations yeah. is an opportunity for God to reveal Himself to Amen. us. And you know, it comes a blessing because it turns into a testimony. Yeah, you know, where you have certain testimony. Where a brother maybe is about to lose their job, mm -hmm. you know, this retrenchment at work. Yeah. But somehow God works a miracle. Mm -hmm. And they're like, no, what we're going to do is so we're going to take care of this department mm -hmm. to put you, give you a promotion so yeah. that you are not attached. Mm -hmm. you know, human conception is attachment is bad. Yeah. But in the eyes of God, it's a blessing way to Amen. Because the prophet comes and says, you know, there is no blessing for the child. Mm -hmm. In the end of the difficulties, there is a reward mm -hmm. that we're given. So now when we look at Paul, you know, now, 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 Jesus Christ comes to says, why persecute us down me? You know, and then he's like, oh, Lord, when did I persecute you? Mm -hmm. But to understand that when he was persecuting his bride, he was persecuting God, because his bride is part of him. Mm -hmm. So now we also see now and morphed. God and more us. Amen. You know, the scripture comes, I think I said this before, you know that, you know, uh, also you look at, look at Moses, uh, Brother Malachi said something so powerful. He said, there was never a time where God spoke to the children of Israel, directly, mm -hmm. you know, but the Bible says God said to the children of Israel. Amen. He says, that was not God, it was Moses speaking to the people. Amen. So Moses' voice was God's voice to the people. Amen. The prophet comes and he says that as well. Like, I have God's voice to you. Amen. And he hesitates me and he says, I that should. Yeah. He says it again. I am God's voice to you. Amen. Because the scripture comes, you know, that you know Jesus Christ comes and says, when they're accusing him for calling himself God, mm -hmm. he comes and he says, you know, they let your words say that to whom the word of God comes to our gods. Mm -hmm. You know. And now we see that the scripture how that you know God used the prophets. Mm -hmm. You know, it says God's in silent mm -hmm. times spoke to the fathers through the prophet. Yeah. Other than now it's also God and morphed in those human beings mm -hmm. to speak to the people. Mm -hmm. And this day I believe the prophet comes also and says that, you know, uh, we, we, we are a prophetic class of people. Mm -hmm. You know. So I believe as well we've come to a point where when the word of God comes to us, mm -hmm. we accept it. We become, remember the Bible says that the word of God is God. Mm. So when we accept it, we become automatically, we become God. Amen. Because you know, there's a law that in Genesis that God has placed. Yeah. But you know, every fruit shall produce of Amen. its kind. Yeah. And we have to produce of that life of Christ. Amen. And we have to produce deity as he's produced deity. Amen. So I think, um, just in close and short, just, like, just to say things, I think we should be just very grateful for what we have. You know, the message that we've given this day, I think, it's, it's such a wonderful thing, you know, because of many times I sit down with young people, you know, are very serious. 
yeah. but they don't see these things. Mm -hmm. And they will yeah. fight it and fight it and fight it, you know. But in it all, um, we also are here to express Christ. Amen. And where we conduct ourselves and where we go, you know. I mean, you know, as a message believer, to do anything against the will of God, we put a reproach. And it's not just putting a reproach on, you know, uh, the message of so as, 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 as per se, but on Christ because we are part of Him. Mm. You know, so I think the way we should conduct ourselves as well is also something that I was looking to try on helping to be more like Him, Amen. you know, so I can reflect more of Him. Amen. But since I think in closing, there was just a few ways that I had to say. Um, uh, forgive me for being too short. <laughs> and those who love short sermons, I'm sure they're very <laughs> <laughs> Those who don't, that's it. But nonetheless, uh, yeah. just yeah. pray for me that God give me more of these things so I can be a bit long. But uh, God bless your sins. I hope it is a blessing. Amen. Yeah. It's not evaluated or weighted upon the quantity of weights that are uttered. Mm -hmm. and your body is weighted upon the effects of the weights that are uttered. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we really appreciate you. Uh, don't stress and worry about the length. Uh, we have really received. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So uh, our, our, I was just reversing there. I'm sure you can see that I was smiling all the time <laughs> because the way he brought up the topic of Imofa. Uh, it's just wonderful how he brought it. Wow. Uh, he said things that I never noticed in that light. So I was just happy. So even this time we were living in, Christ wanted to do the repeat of Imofa. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Through his bride. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So I was listening to something today on the on the preaching of the fourth scene. Mm -hmm. Where Brother Brennan says the battle was of the angels. It was in heaven. Then it came down in the garden of Eden. He says, now we are fighting a battle and there's going to be a battle of Armageddon. Mm -hmm. So now he says something very interesting. He says, the battle of Armageddon, God has assembled his bride in heaven to fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was something. Mm -hmm. So our coming here does not start here. Mm -hmm. The fight, the battles that we go through here does not start here. Mm -hmm. But we are assembled, we are soldiers assembled from heaven. Pray with the name of the Lord. And he came in, in he morphed himself in us to overcome. Uh -huh. So my brother, we are really, we are really appreciative. Uh, I don't know, you see it's a short uh, sermon, but my, my page is full there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we really appreciate it. So without any waste of time, uh, let's sing a, a chorus or a, a worship song. <clears throat> then we are going to go straight into prayer. So whatever prayer request that you have, you can write it and bring it forward. If you don't have whatever you comes upon your heart to pray for, uh, please do so. And pray for, for the church, pray for the believers in your spare time, pray for the congregation as a whole. Hallelujah. Uh, how many do that? Pray for the congregation. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. So continue doing that saints and we'll see how the Lord helps us. Mm -hmm. So as we say, oh I see local police raised his hand, he's praying for the congregation. Mm -hmm. so, so let's sing a, a worship song. Then we are all going to go into prayer. <laughs> 